Okay, so now we're going to go to her uh, second example. Sero prevalence is 2%, so this time 2% of the people have the disease. Okay. Test sensitivity is 90%, so our test, our, our positive tests are better. Or sorry, we're, we're better at detecting the people who have it. Okay. Last time it was 80. Specificity is lower, 98.5% versus 99. For a random sample of 3,000 participants, you would expect to find 100 positives. So about, about the same? 45% of which will be false positives. That's a lot different. Yeah, so why do you, what, before we go through the math, what, what do you think is, so we have half the number of people have the disease here. Right? We went from 4% to 2%. But we ended up with the same number of positives. What what happened? What caused that? Well, as the the specificity was really almost perfect the last in the last example, but now it's ninety eight point five percent. So that means automatically two point five percent of the population. One one point five. Or one point five. Yeah will test positive but not actually have it. Okay. And then you're also getting 90% of the 2%. So that would, I don't know, but it seems like it would be around the same. All right, what do you think? Oh yeah, so 1.5% of 3,000, um, well 1% of 3,000 is 30 and then Point five is another fifteen, so that's about that's your forty five. Okay. Right there. Okay. So that's that's even though it looks like a small change, comparatively from ninety nine point nine to ninety eight point five, it's a it's a large decrease. Okay. So let's um let's let's go through the details here. So we have two percent uh of the people actually have the disease. The sensitivity is ninety percent, specificity is ninety eight point five, and again we have three thousand people. So our true positives, what do we find here? Uh, we have 54, um, so, so 3,000 times, um, we have the percent 0 0.02 and the sensitivity 0 0.9. So how many would we expect in the whole population to have it if our test was perfect? So we'd want 2% of the population. To so have it. 60? 60. And then we have 90, we find 90% okay. of them. So that, that's what takes us from mm -hmm. 60 down to 54. Our false negatives, therefore, are? The six is yeah. what's left over, that's the one minus sensitivity. Okay. Yeah, so that's our 10% of the positives. Our true negatives, <coughs> so the people mm -hmm. who don't have it, who we find not having it, 3,000 times. 98 percent. So it's only times 98.5. Okay, so that's yeah, basically the 98 percent of the population, and then times 0 0.985. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. And then our false positives. How many so false positives? 44, so... Okay, so how many total positives did we find in this case? Um, about the same, 90, right. it was one less, 98. Yeah, so 98 as opposed to 99. Uh-huh. But I think, I guess it's 45% of them are not actually positive, the false ones. Yeah. Okay. Four, so 44 out of 98, I guess it's pretty close to 45%. Yeah. Yeah, so remember, let's just pretend we found 100 each time. Um, in one case, we really expected 4% of 3,000. There were really 120, and we found, yeah. we found 100. Mm -hmm. And we didn't actually have a lot of false yeah, we positives. 0 0.001. But we did find, you know, roughly 100 out of 3,000. Let's call that 3%. Here, the, pop, the, the prevalence was only 2%. Again, we found 100, so this time we, we found 3%. And... You get 45% of, yeah. our, our mm -hmm. of our positives were, were wrong. So let's go to see what we can conclude from this.